My name is Jeff Landman. I'm a physical therapist at Gaylord Hospital in the outpatient department. Um, today I'm showing you guys our new Alter G treadmill, which is a pneumatic air power treadmill. It can reduce the amount of body percent that you are allowed to walk on or practice gait, that is walking. Um, now, most of these are used in outpatient sports facilities for returning to running, high impact, things like that. But here at Gaylord, we use it a little bit differently, um, mainly retraining weight bearing improving your ability and quality to improve your step length, stride, weight bearing symmetrically, um, and pretty much any type of static balance activity you might like. But we have patients zip in through the top here. I can actually show you. We lower this down, go down all the way. This guy goes all the way down to the floor. Patient steps on into the middle. They have a Lycra pair of shorts on that zips in. We pull it right back up to the top. Pull it here, zip them in. Once the machine is on, it calibrates their weight, filling up with air. It may try to lift you off the ground a little bit, but it's really just assessing how much the patient weighs. And then from there, we can actually put in a percentage of how much body weight we want the patient to be practicing and um, using, standing on themselves. So primarily with the neuro patient, for those, let's say just for a stroke patient to begin with, um, for those who have trouble getting full weight bearing on their hemiparetic side, uh, this is an amazing tool for them to really be able to put the weight back on that side without having to worry about losing their balance, falling over, um, and being able to really put some, if not all the weight on that side. And it's a great way to start because you can put yourself at 75%, work yourself back up to 100%, and that incorporates everyday walking and um, improves their stability and safety overall. A, a, lot of, a lot of people fear treadmills because they see the bottom and it just goes and goes and goes and they feel like, I'm not going to be able to walk fast enough on this thing. Turns out we don't even have to turn the treadmill belt on. You can just do static balance activities, reaching activities, dynamic activities without the belt on. If you want to get into walking and practicing the gait, then you can absolutely do that. Everyone who is looking to retrain their gait and retrain their walking, which would be your stroke patients, it could be your MS patients, it could be your amputees, it could be you know incomplete spinal cord injuries, um, it could really be anyone. So. so here we have a size small. We have and this is the front right here. Patient zips into the top of the treadmill. Once this is on, they pull it up to about waist height. We can jot over, zip in. You can zip in forwards or sideways. You can put them over your own shorts. You can put them over your own pants. Um, and yeah, they have a bunch of different sizes you can try on. If, if they have a regular evaluation with PT and our normal evaluation would go through, if it turns out they need any type of gait training or improvement with balance, we can put them in there. Um, I believe we're also starting an option that if patients want to come in and pay for uh, X amount of time for use, I think we're charging it's 15 minute increments. Um, but if anyone out of the blue wanted to come and use it, they could.